I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And I'm like, oh, well, Chipotle is like eight bucks. Let's go. So Not I'm gonna, anymore. <laughs> so I go to Chipotle. I go in my, my line. And I get what I usually get, which basically you just get extra everything. And if you want to, you get extra chicken. If not, get extra rice, get extra beans. Make it so the person wrapping it has to sweat it out. Yeah. And it was great. I went, got my order, got everything extra. Person wrapped it like it was like massive, yeah. huge because I'm a dog, you know, got my extra rice, got my extra beans, got my sour cream and cheese and got my I actually got barbacoa this time. Oh, hey, okay. that's good shit. Yeah, good shit wrapped it they actually had to wrap it with extra tin foil they had to wrap it with an extra wrap because the guy who wrapped it wrapped it like an ape busting out the seams it was god awful <laughs> and then i uh i went home and i and i ate my burrito and i met a friend of mine made a nice observation a couple of years back and it's really stuck with me and the reason why i don't go to chipotle often and why i'm getting clowned for it now no matter what you get at chipotle whether it be barbacoa steak chicken sofritas whatever it might be it always tastes the same. Does not matter if it's steak, chicken, or barbacoa, or whatever else. It always will taste the same. Always. No matter what. And it's like, oh, sure, maybe it's the same seasonings. No. That's not it. Because meat is different from each other. You can't change the meat. The meat is different. It should taste different. It does not. Anyways, yeah. I digress. I have my burrito. Another thing I noticed while I was eating it. The problem with Chipotle so much cheese and so much sour cream. Yeah. First of all. Did it, you get extra? No. No. I didn't get extra sour cream. One of my fucking cereal killer. <laughs> no sour cream, no extra cheese. I just asked for cheese and I asked for sour cream. And of course they because they already give it to you extra, whether you ask for it or not. It's just plump cheese. This is they drop, expired. They drop the day. whole fucking bag on you. And then you eat it. And it's like very soon after I went I ate it at like seven o'clock. Eleven o'clock I go to bed. It's like <laughs> into my stomach i'm like oh, fuck tomorrow should be fun wake up at 5 30 crisp in the morning go to the gym <laughs> pre-workout too take some pre-workout a diuretic pre-workout as well and that yeah. already destroys my bowels go to the bathroom take about 15 minutes off the clock come back what were, i think it was legs we hit or something yeah something like that and then Right around, we usually work till we work out till about seven. Yeah, six forty-five comes around. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I gotta go. I gotta cut it short. So cut it short. Fifteen minutes in, fifteen minutes out. Yeah, cut my workout down. Usually we get about an hour, hour and a half in. We got about yeah. forty minutes in. Yeah, I got about forty minutes in. Try and hit it hard for an hour and a half, and then it was like you knew though you were taking a gamble, right? Yeah, you're being brave. You're stepping a little bit out of your element where for context, Chipotle is the thing you tell your boss. You're like, hey, I can't come into work today. And they're like, why? You're like, I had Chipotle last night and I'm really not feeling well. I feel like I'm about to puke and shit myself at the same time. Don't ask why. Maybe a little booger coming out of my nose, too. Yeah, I said it. And then your boss is like, what did you say? They're like, oh, I'm about to shit. And like, no, not that one. You had what? You're like, I had Chipotle. They're like, oh, I understand. Yeah, take as much time as you need. If you need a week off, two weeks, it's basically like the COVID of food at this point. And then not only that, they were in the news for giving people E. coli. They're giving people all these diseases. So the fact that your idea of bravery and stepping out of your element was going to get Chipotle when usually I think of like a diver going down to swim with some sharks and then he's being brave because he has to sit suspended in the water to make sure that the bubbles can come out of his bloodstream and then he's just sitting there but no you went ahead and got chipotle because you didn't want to drive an extra five minutes in traffic when it's more, it's more like 10 or 15 but sure. my hot take is gonna be chipotle isn't even as good as taco bell anymore it's not because you can at least get a little bit of variety with Taco Bell and Taco Bell. You know what you're going to get. It's a guilty pleasure. Sometimes Chipotle is just like a not even a guilty pleasure. Like Taco Bell's at least enjoyable and you can get some things on the menu Sometimes. that you like. But like compared to Chipotle, I feel like now it's just a complete nightmare where Subway used to be cool. And then you found out they started making their sub rolls with yoga mats the same material that they're made out of yeah that's a fact go ahead and look it up you can google it um 
and then just the fall from grace that subway had all the way to chipotle i feel like it's a similar fall but chipotle was the shit two years ago and then all of a sudden it just it was, it was definitely further than two years ago subway fell off 10 years ago and now it's what you use like i can't come into work today why i had chipotle and then your boss just instantly has like somewhere they can relate and connect to you and you actually called out of work for chipotle once too yeah i mean i didn't actually have chipotle at that time <laughs> yeah. but i told you an, to use it as an excuse one time it worked out yeah and then i had to get a doctor's note so that's a whole nother story um <laughs> Look, I didn't want to drive. I paid the price because there's foods that I can't have anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's because of my old age or not, but I've lived 24 wise years. And on, in those 24 years, I was not always wise. Yeah. But there's certain foods I can't eat anymore because it just destroys me. And I'm not here to talk about my bowels too, <laughs> too deeply on the podcast. I highly doubt anybody cares. Yeah. But like... Off of my list is usually Buffalo Wild Wings because Buffalo Wild Wings does a number to my stomach. I don't know if it's the beer mixture with the with the half cooked wings that gets me, but Buffalo Wild Wings the next day I'm like in for it. Well, Chipotle I had the same feeling where it was just a. <laughs> it sounds like an angry cat, and then sounds like your cat. It's like I got the 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 nuclear bomb in my stomach.